Hey guys, so I'm making this video. It's all about detox. There is actually a, just two phases of detox. So the first phase of detox is your body starts to remove junk and eliminate it from the cells. Uh, some of the most important things during that part of detox would be your traffic cops, your gatekeepers of your cells. That would be like magnesium. So magnesium, potassium, salts, minerals, those are all very important for your overall body electrical conductivity and for your body's energy production and for you to operate. So in the video that I made about why I don't limit salt intake, that's one of them. That's one of the reasons why your body needs those salts, those minerals, those electrolytes, the magnesium and all those things and potassium and you need those to properly function. Okay. So the first part is it will get your body will gather it up, eliminate toxins, move them out of the cells. And then when they're out of those cells, the phase two detox, your body has to take amino acids or whatever else it can. Usually it's amino acids to convert it into water soluble waste that your body can excrete. Okay. So if the load, because you took something that detoxes you, if the load becomes too much and you don't have enough amino acids in your body, then you can get headaches, nausea, stomach aches, fever. You can get all those symptoms that look like either colds or flus. You can get these symptoms that is known as the Herxheimer reaction, or it's also known as a healing crisis. So some people are very unhealthy, and if they're trying to jump far into uh, detoxing, they could find themselves being very sick and deterred by it. So I've actually read about that. I remember a while ago, it, was, it became very popular to do vitamin C IVs, and the vitamin C IVs, um, you know, it was like a, a hangover remedy by the stars kind of deal, like a lot of stars were getting the multivitamin IVs and a lot of places will do that for you now. And I read about one blogger talked about how they did a vitamin C for their hangover cure thing or whatever. And they ended up getting really sick and they're like, it's a horrible idea. I'm never going to do it again. But the bottom line is they didn't understand they're experiencing the Herxheimer reaction. They didn't understand that their body was detoxing and they just didn't have the proper materials to detox in a way that didn't hurt them. So uh, a lot of practitioners out there will suggest to you first do no harm to your body type thing. And that's a good idea. Do not overstress your body in a way that you're going to result in having a Herxheimer reaction. So some people could experience skin reactions because their body is eliminating these things right out of the cells in the quickest, fastest, shortest route possible. And I've seen that in people. I've seen people have... Um, a super fast detox and then they'll have open sores all around their body uh it's not that big of a deal it's not ideal you know it's not what people would really want to have happen to them but basically that's the thing so it's really good to have lots of hydration lots of water uh amino acids a complete complex almost any amino acids in some level is going to be beneficial some of the foods that are really high in amino acids are going to be like bone broth or meat stock. Those ones are going to be the best for you. Um, I, I would probably put um, in the description here, I'll try and find some other aminos. I've used Country Life Max Aminos. I actually have been doing a lot of detoxing, and every single time I start to feel any Harksheimer reaction, headaches, things like that, uh, I will start. You know, I'll just take like two of those. And I got another video about amino acids. I should probably throw that up at the end of this. But anyways, as soon as you introduce something new, like new supplements or new things that may be benefiting your health, you could definitely be experiencing Herxheimer reactions or things of that nature, some detox effects. So yeah, you could either struggle through it or, you know, get smart, increase fiber intake, do those things. I mean, water, colon cleansings, water clonics, 
that can help your body eliminate it because your body, you know, it's going to send it to those areas so that you can eliminate it. Um, and yeah, uh, I got a ton of other videos about all the colon health things that I've been doing in the last six months or so. Yeah. Check those out. Um, so other than that, I just really wanted to talk about that phase one, phase two detox, take your amino acids, drink your bone broth, get magnesium, increase your salt intake, you know, take some potassium, iodine, tons of these things. All these things are going to benefit you most likely. So don't be deterred if you start to fear and experience uncomfortable things like this when you start your health journey. Um, anyways, guys, stay healthy and leave some comments about your experience. And if there's other, you know, amino acid rich foods that you know of, leave them in the comments. That'd be great too.